When we met Jean Carignan that Sunday morning at Dublin Airport, we picked up a friendship started in Montreal two years before. He'd been invited to Ireland by the Coleman Traditional Society of County Sligo. It was a response at last to what he had done for Irish music in Canada by his lifelong ambition to master Coleman fiddle techniques. But he never met Coleman, who died in New York in 1945. Johnny had been a busker, shoemaker, construction worker, taxi driver. By the 70s, he'd cut three discs in the States. But he'd never been too popular in Canada because he'd always insisted on the Irishness of French-Canadian music. And Quebec nationalism prefers to see itself as entirely French. But they knew about him here in Ireland, where traditional music has always been a living movement, not just a newfound revival. We took him to see John Kelly from West Clare, Hello, John. who presides over the music at the Four Seasons pub next door to his shop. This is John Kelly now. John and I, we brought him down to see you. Oh, We've been telling him about your music and about the sessions. Fiddle player from... That's right. Montreal. Montreal, yeah. Oh, you're Plays welcome. like Coleman. You're welcome. I've heard of you, Jean, and our Jean, is it? Jean. 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 Or Sean, now that he's in Ireland. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 